Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from an undisclosed location. Today I'm hanging out with Terry Evanswood. Abracadabra. We are uh, visiting his friend, Steve Gronowski. And, there. Uh, Steve, t explain just a quick, quickly what you do. I don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm retired. Uh, I used to run a big uh, antique slot machine and jukebox show in Chicago and retired several years ago. And now I just kind of dabble with antique penny arcade equipment. Yeah, but quite a quite some, a collection down here. You know, musical items. And All right, so we're going to check check out some uh, some very unique and unusual uh, penny arcade machines. So please follow. Do you disappear there, Terry? <laughs> some uh, gambling tables back here and this big wheel. Fifty two. Yeah, this this came out of a carousel uh, someplace in Pennsylvania and it, this was this particular machine was made by Wurlitzer out of uh, New York, upstate New York, uh, North Tonawanda, New York, and uh, this machine was made about 1927. Apparently with these old slot machines, it actually play music. Some of them did. Some yeah. of them did, and so this was a, I guess a legal loophole where you were playing for the song and so either way you win or lose you 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 come up one song unique about this it also gives you a stick of gum okay so with your penny song. so Regina music and Pepsi gum gum so you it plays a song and gives you a piece of gum it takes this is a 15 inch disc 15 and a half inch and I'll say so you can hear what this sounds like. Oh, you, you crank the organ and then the, mm -hmm. the monkey. Yeah, I'll dance. I'll let Terry be the monkey. Yeah. Oh, you, you crank the organ and then the, mm -hmm. the monkey. Yeah, I'll dance. I'll let Terry be the monkey. No. <laughs> song is that? That's uh. Ever ever give it a thing about the weather? Cause the weather. Keep cranking. Keep cranking. Oh. Uh... Simply, uh gives you a card with a uh, with your. Uh, it gives you a, a letter. It's supposed to be the post office, and it gives you a letter with your... Uh, with so it's like a little little cherub that yeah. delivers mail. Those are the different cards. It says, My Jazz Baby. I have been worried all day long, wondering where my baby was last night. It's a long lane that hasn't a turn, old dear, and someday you'll find that I have ceased to worry or care. I am fast learning that you aren't the girl I thought you were, and you don't know what it means to play your disgusted lover, Howard. <laughs> Interesting. And, and they have them for gentlemen and ladies. Okay. So, so if, you... you, if the, the man's card is pictures of women and the woman's card are pictures of men with the various fortunes or whatever. So this is like a strength? Yeah. It's a strength test. For... How's your grip? Are you getting strong? It's old popcorn or peanuts, peanuts and popcorn. It's actually a popcorn popper. Okay. Automatic popper. You put the kernels in up here and turn it on and it just continuously pops corn. When I first restored this thing and set it up, 
I hid at my basement in memory lane when I lived in the city in Chicago. And my phone rang, and I had to go upstairs and answer the phone. Oh. And I forgot about it, and I smelled popcorn later, <laughs> and I had, this was off, okay? This comes off, I had it off because I was making adjustments on the mechanism and everything. And I came down, and this thing was full, and there was a pile of popcorn on the Oh, no, so it just <laughs> Yeah, it ran for kept... several hours. <laughs> oh. Great. A little town crier. Yeah, yeah, that's a wind-up mechanical guy. You have the grandmother predictions, fortune telling machine here. It's one nickel. Beware of Friday the 13th. That's your unlucky day. It's a lot of people's unlucky day, I think. This is just basically a, a fortune telling machine that gives you a card with your fortune on it, but it's delivered in a really unique mechanical way. So that thing shows you that it's working because people okay. say, yeah, put a coin in, what happened? Oh, that's good. Oh, and there's the donkey. And, oh, <laughs> and he deposits your uh, your gold brick. Oh. That's your that's your gold brick. An, an, an unexpected inheritance should come to you through a relative you do not know. You will then have the ease and luxury you dream about. Nice. In the in the uh, mid to late twenties, and I think back in those times, a lot of people thought that the uh, Electric, uh, electrical shocks were, were good for your health. But anyway, the way this works is, as you put a coin in, you grab both knobs, and this little man with the spear starts to go across the oh, yeah. uh, a bridge. And you gotta spear, hold and he's long gonna, enough to spear the yeah, dragon? exactly. You see if you can hold it till the bell rings, at which time he spears the dragon. So is this, this is actual, is this gonna be actual electricity here? Yeah. Okay. Now, one penny. Put the penny in and... Oh my gosh. And here's the secret, hold it tight, because tight. the looser you hold it, the worse it is. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Oh. Yeah, that was, I could feel it. Yeah, oh yeah, tightening your up. muscles. See, I thought this, I thought this was gonna be one of the like, just vibrations. Yeah, I know. Well, that's real electricity. Now, there's three levels of intensity, and that was the uh, mild level. <laughs> <laughs> Classic love tester. And that is indifferent. Oh, I wanted to be uncontrollable. Someone shot it with a BB? Yeah. That's the way I bought it. I just left it. I thought it was me. They, they didn't like their uh, result. They, didn't, they weren't happy with, uh, <laughs> with no, the love, I, I make love tester one. to tell them. Got the old peep show machine here. Pretty girls, right from Broadway. One penny to check out. You pretty girls. That's not going. What's that? One sit on a hammock. Okay, so shake with Uncle Sam, only twenty five cents, he will Tell you the strength of your personality. And, and it used to say strength of your grip. <laughs> yeah, shake hands with Uncle Sam. Oh. Cold fish. It never lies. <laughs> This bar here is actually from 1902, it was a uh, actual bar uh, backer in uh, the Chicago area. It's 
a little frame picture of Mr. Al Capone over there. Yeah, it's a the advertising clock. They were made around 1880, and this is one of them. And I made I made this one from pictures. Oh wow! Now this was a clock that was not sold to the public. It was sold to uh, saloons and and uh, general stores and places that you know restaurants. And then you in turn could lease out advertising. Okay, space so this would it. be like. Yeah, those companies are that would ads. put their ads in there. But what's neat on this, every five minutes automatically, it does this. Oh, wow. <laughs> so every five minutes, it changes the ads. So there's 12 different ads That's that so you can cool. see there. So this is actually a Race the Greyhound game. And so there's actually a competitive, you need two people. So you're going to race year, me? What year is this one, Steve? These were somewhere late teens, 20s. Push it all the way in, all the way in. It's got to go all the way in. All the way in. And then pull it all the way out. Okay. Okay, then we got to race our dogs. Chase that rabbit. The rabbit always stays ahead. Oh, it's like, oh, 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 oh. Come on, brown dog. Barry's dragging his teeth so he can win. <laughs> you cheating, let me, oh. Oh, Jacob won. I won? <laughs> I'm being nice. <laughs> the gripper blow. So you are telling me you actually would put your mouth on this yeah, machine yeah. and blow, test your blow. Test your lungs. And every other person in the bar would also test yeah. their lungs. This is the least COVID friendly thing I have ever seen. And it's amazing. Banned. Yeah, they banned these uh, because of tuberculosis and everything back about 1904. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, as you can see, it's grip test or lung test. So you can just do like the, the typical grip test yeah, there, yeah. or you can put your Blow mouth on it. On mm -hmm. it. Wow. It's another public lung tester. I guess you would blow in there. The little wonder lung tester drop. Scent and slot, blow steadily, figures on glass, indicate capacity of lung. Because people always worried about their lung capacity back then. <laughs> that 1875. 1875, so beautiful, All beautiful pool table. Here would be like a punching tester. Punch, punch the bag there. That'll tell you how hard you punched. The all-star game, because there's players from both leagues on there. Oh, so this was the, it says 1937 World Series, but apparently it's actually the 1937 All-Star Game. Yeah, could be, because I've been told some of those players named on there okay. were from both the American okay, so and the National real, League. Real players. Push it all the way in and all the way out. Now you gotta put that handle down there below it. The handle. Oh, okay. Don't press it until you're okay. cutting the bat. The handle, it'll recock. Okay, so there it goes. Now get ready when he throws the ball. Oh, this is difficult. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. 1904 ice cream parlor. These uh, apparently were originally in an ice cream parlor in Madison, Wisconsin. So these are Grandma Fortune Teller machines. Oh yeah, I see a couple of them over here. And there's Granny's head right there. So did you say that you actually poured the wax yourself? Yeah, yeah I, I made molds and I pour the wax heads and hands. Some we make out of wax, some we make out of a composition. Oh my goodness. Look at this. These fortune telling machines. Got some of the backs of Granny there. You can see some of the inner workings. You gotta get Let's look at some of these grandma fortune tellers. You can see the, they are in different stages of construction. This is Sybil, the Queen of Hearts. Yeah, these are all in the process of being completed this one they have this style a little different style cabinet yeah 
This is an original machine, by the way. So this is a vintage? Yeah. yeah this is the one's from the 20s. Wow. Check these guys out. <laughs> Look up there. You can see the little animatrons, the bunny. Down the pathway here. Oh, look at that. You just got a random hawk right there. It says, he who dies with the most toys wins. I think Steve Gronowski has won. Appreciate you guys joining me here today. Wonderful to check out some of these private uh, collections. But Steve actually makes these reproductions, makes the grandmother fortune tellers that I've come across at uh, different locations as I travel around the country and he does sell them. So if anyone is interested, um, let, uh, let him know. Um, again, thank you for watching. If uh, you like these videos, consider checking out some of the older videos on this channel. I have been to 48 continental United States filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, haunted houses, and other random stuff. Um, give those old videos a look. If you like, again, if you like them, subscribe. It'll let you know when new videos are out. If you'd like to help uh, the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more we will get you a postcard once a month. Also selling goodies in the Etsy shop. All that just helps keep this train on the tracks, this boat on the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, this one's in the bag.